Today, the government are asking um, the Irish people to trust them and to trust Irish water. And they're going to have a big difficulty in doing that because of the legacy of what has happened uh, in the last year and a half. Uh, we, were told that, um, we were told that Irish water was going to be partnered with Board Gas because it was going to save money. And then it subsequently transpired that the amount of money that was going to be spent in consultancy fee fees was actually known by the then Minister. Um, from beginning to end, this has failed the test of trust. Um, what we're seeing here today is we're seeing uh, the government uh, in a, a, a serious climb down um, because of the game changer that was the 100,000 people on the street. And Deputy Ross is right. They were, they were made up of people who wouldn't normally, in the main, protest. And indeed, there was no big media uh, campaign in advance of it to let people know that this big demonstration was going to happen. It was organic. It happened on social media in the main, uh, in terms of people uh, swapping information. Um, I was on that demonstration, and for the first time uh, since uh, this country went into the bailout, um, uh, there was a sense of solidarity on that demonstration that I have not encountered in the last four or five years. And people were saying, why didn't we do this before? And they look at this and they'll see this today as an introductory offer. They'll know that there will be rising costs. They know that the state subvention will reduce. And they know the borrowing costs will have to be met by the customers of Irish water. They're not fools. And I think that people are really offended by being taken for fools. Mm. Um, they needed clarity. They needed certainty. This kind of, you know, uh, PR kind of speak. Um, and in actual fact, they were pretty certain about one thing. They were pretty certain that this was the straw that was going to break uh, the camel's back. Um, I went into areas that you know, would be regarded as quite well-off areas. Um, and I was astonished at the number of people who said it to me on doorsteps. I asked them where they going to go out and protest. Actually, most of them weren't. But they were offended by um, the debacle that was Irish water. And the fact that you wouldn't listen when there were complaints made right through the year um, about the problems uh, that were being encountered. Right from the PPS numbers, I raised that last January at committee level. The things like taking estates in charge. Um, you know, uh, uh, even now, you're looking, at, uh, you're looking at the numbers. And you're saying, uh, and the Minister said, short-term emotion and anger or long-term uh, prudence and common sense. Well, prudence it would give the impression that there's going to be some money. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to fund a major quango. Um, and there is going to be, I'm not sure it's going to get through the Eurostat rules. And I, I really have quite a fear in the same way as we had the Troika thrown back at us that um, if, it doesn't, if it doesn't get through those rules, we'll be back here being told, oh, it was Eurostat that wouldn't al allow us to do that. Um, there's a huge big hole in the, uh, in, 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 in the numbers here. Um, what has happened has been that the, uh, the local government fund uh, in 1997 that was ring-fenced uh, to, uh, to fund services, including water services, um, has been cleaned out. There was a billion in that fund, uh, or 999 million to be exact, in, in 2009. Um, it's reduced to, I think there's 110 uh, million in that fund now, uh, 480 or 490 million has been transferred uh, just in this year uh, to, uh, to Irish Water. Um, I'm looking at where you're going to get the fund to actually fix the pipes. And indeed, it's quite interesting, Minister, when you, when you talk in your speech about uh, you know, the need for metres. And in an ideal world, I, I, you could probably say that there is some sense in it. But 
In actual fact, uh, the Minister for uh, Public Enterprise said in 2011, it makes 2011 that it makes no sense to spend hundreds of millions of euros on metering a leaky system. You know, if you you know if you go around the country, there is different experiences in terms of uh, leaky pipes. Um, in actual fact, in my own uh, constituency, where there's a, a fairly modern housing stock, the leakage rate is not uh, uh, of the order of 40 odd percent. It's in the early 20s. Um, uh, you, what you do is you must target the approach at the leaky pri pipes in, in areas where you have Victorian pipes, um, and it doesn't actually take a metre on either end of a 100-year-old pipe to say that there is a, a, the prospect of a, a, of a leak. And I think people are also offended by uh, the, the metering programme and the contract and who that contract has been, uh, has been awarded to. Um, and they, they, they question how the same names keep on cropping up over and over again to get the great benefits like, for example, uh, the second mobile phone licence. And here we go uh, with the major metering, uh, major metering programme. And now we're in a contact, contractual arrangement which, which presumably will be impossible to get out of. Look, this stinks to high heaven. There is no confidence in, in Irish water. People do not want to be Irish water. Our customers. There's a real need to go back to the drawing board, and I don't think there'll be an acceptance uh, of uh, Irish water. And I believe there will be a lot of people on the streets when it comes to the, the, the 10th of December. And I wonder what you will do then.